guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young, and today I'm going to be showing you three basic trees that you can paint with one brush. We're using sap green, cadmium yellow, Mars black, and titanium white. So I'm going to break it down and make it super easy and simple for you guys to follow along. You're going to learn so many techniques and tips in this one video. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be painting three trees one at a time. We're going to begin our first tree, a fir tree or a pine tree, and we're using a number two fan brush today. We're going to get our brush wet, dab off all the drips, and we'll start by pulling into that sap green. So pull and turn, load both sides, and then we'll take just a little bit of that Mars black. So we'll start with a tree trunk, turning our brush straight up and down. We'll just tap or you can pull very lightly. Then using the very corner, just a little part of my brush, I'm going to tap in for those little baby branches at the top and then work our way down to our bigger branches using the full width of the brush. Make our tree trunk a little bit thicker. Load our brush up again, both sides. Push and tap. thicker in the middle and a little thinner on the ends of those branches. So we've got a nice dense full tree and we're going to start pulling into our cadmium yellow. It'll mix in with a sap green and we'll add some highlights on this tree. using the corner of the brush again for the top and then pushing and tapping side to side all the way down to the bottom of that tree. Now you want to paint wet on wet. You don't want to wait in between for the layers to dry uh, so that you can get all those different tones and shades of green in there. And then we'll just brush out very carefully on the bottom for some land, maybe some grass or moss down there, and then a little shadow right on the side of our tree trunk. Okay, so for tree number two, this is like a birch type of tree or an oak. We'll tap in, pull and sweep for our branches and our tree trunk. So by holding the brush straight up and down, it will act sort of like a liner brush. And you can create all those skinny lines. So you can add as many branches as you want making them look a little wispy on the ends. And now we're gonna pull in to our sap green, a little bit of that black, and we'll start pushing and tapping for all our leaves. We'll start our leaves with this color first, get a nice rich base down for contrast, and then we'll start adding the cadmium yellow with the sap green and then we'll come in with a little bit of white. And I'm even gonna show you how you can pull and create moss hanging on trees. You could easily turn this into a weeping willow tree. There's so many different ways to use a fan brush, but today I'm just showing you three basic trees. Okay, now I'm gonna pull in sap green, cadmium yellow, Load both sides, tap lightly over part of that dark green and black so we can build up to a nice highlight. Take a little bit of white, mix that in with the yellow and the green, tap again. And 
I'm careful not to tap too many times otherwise you'll lose that highlight and it'll just get lost in with all of the dark green and the black. So I'm just going to tap out on the bottom for some moss or another type of ground cover, grass, just to show you that you can use this brush for that as well. And you can tap for hanging moss or you can pull and flick. So just add another bit of a highlight here, using more of that white, a little bit of yellow. Now if you wanted to make it look like there was snow on these trees and they're in the winter, you would just add a lot more white. And I will be doing a future video on how to paint three trees with snow on them. Okay, let's wash this brush out and we'll begin our third tree which is going to be our palm tree one of my favorites so pulling into the black again pulling and turning and loading both sides we want to tap and pull and sweep make a curvy type of a tree trunk and then pull for little arches for all of those big palm leaves You want to do five to eight of these, more if you like. So we pull those lines first, then we got a little bit more paint. Let's pick up some of that sap green as well. Just make this tree trunk a little thicker. And then we'll start by pulling and flicking short little flicks for instant little palm leaves. And we'll load up our brush again. Again, lining it up, pulling and flicking. So we'll continue to do this on each leaf and then we'll start adding some highlights. Now I'm gonna be doing another video on how to paint all of these trees, again, with using a filbert brush because you get a different kind of a look. And I want you guys to experiment with both brushes and so you can decide how you like to paint your trees. Do you like to use them or use a fan brush or would you prefer using a filbert brush? So they both look really good and I tend to go back and forth. I like using both. Um, it's fun to experiment though and see what types of branches and leaves and foliage that you can create by using a filbert as well. So I'm just gonna tap in some foliage down here, maybe some little tropical plants at the base or some grass, just to show you guys a little bit extra of what you can do with a fan brush. I'm gonna start pulling in some of that cadmium yellow and we're gonna pull and flick very lightly now so this highlight stays on top and it doesn't get pushed into that dark green and black. And this is how you'll add those highlights. So this will be our mid-tone. And then we'll come in with a brighter, bolder yellow with a little bit of white. And I haven't sped this video up at all. This is all real time. So it just shows you guys how quickly and easily you can paint these trees just by having the right brush and knowing how to use it. So let's come in with a little bit more highlight now. A little bit of white here with a bit of yellow. And finish this tree off. I'm just going to let that palm tree dry a little bit and tap some of these leaves over here just to soften these edges up a bit. Hardly any paint at all on my brush. And then I'm going to pick up some cadmium yellow with a clean brush. I want to get all that dark base out of my brush. 
and start fresh with some white and yellow and I'll add the final highlights to all of these trees. It's going to be quite generous with this yellow now. It's so beautiful mixed in over top of that green. You really feel like the sun is hitting those leaves. And then I pull in a little bit of white again. Now the trick is to be very light and barely touch that canvas if you want in order for those highlights to really show up. Otherwise, if you push too hard, you're just pushing away the paint. It will get lost in all that dark color. Because all those dark colors are way more dominant. They will overpower. And as I continue to add the final highlights to these trees, I want to thank you guys again so much for joining me. This was a quick little video uh, just to show you guys uh, some easy techniques and tips to paint trees using one brush. Um, I'll see you in my next video that will be longer and more in detail. Um, I'll be painting some flowers and some more landscapes. So give this video a like, leave a comment below if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone, happy painting, and I'll see you next time.